sorry, I had to cut the VOD. Uh, maybe like mm, two or three hours into the day. You guys have had a pretty easy journey. It seems like a lot of the stuff in this area of the mm -hmm. complex is pretty well cleared out. The hallways mm -hmm. have actually started to open up a little bit. Um, and they become a little bit wider and you've gotten into the more like clearly you were traveling through like the the residential and like personal areas of the complex and now you've progressed into like the more kind of open um, community areas of the ship and you can see that like you pass probably by like a large um, like a large conference room at some point and if you peek your head in there and kind of look around you can see that like the the roof has caved in kind of on the, the the like machinery in there so it's all kind of damaged and destroyed and pretty useless um and i think that notably and this is maybe something that you're picking up on just now you guys have not seen any remains it's, that's important to note um you knew that 26 and 26 souls lived in this complex um but you have not seen any remains mm. just fyi um so as you guys you know travel through the conference room or whatever you, you search it and there's nothing really of interest um you come across as well like a couple of like clearly like offices um, most of them were like demolished or destroyed, but, uh, there are a couple that are intact and, you know, you guys go through the, the computer systems aren't working though. Um, they appear to not have power. They appear to have been cut off, um, from power. There's have a we still not those... found the, the power station yet? No, not yet. Not yet. Okay. Um, there's a couple of, um, of those orbs around. Um, but, like, the personal computers, they've been severed. Mm -hmm. um, so you can't access them currently. Um, and it was just that one conference room and a couple of offices? Yeah, yeah, in these, like, more public areas. There's also, like, some, probably some recreation areas. Like, you probably find, like, a probably an old abandoned, like, workout room. Um with like you know future tech equipment that essentially work out work you out without you actually having to do strenuous activity because that's how fucking oh my god is it do they have ab zappers basically yeah <laughs> basically they have ab zappers yes um, um I, I think as we're as we're kind of reaching this new like obviously different area Oscar would ask Hiapo like do you recognize any of this are we in your estimation any closer to the core yeah he like pulls his, he's like pulls himself away from like something he was reading and he says uh he kind of like looks around and he's like ah that we are brother it's close i remember the the drone coming through here perhaps another hmm couple hundred meters cool Yeah, Oscar is obviously like I mean, he stands up a little straighter. He's you know nods to Hiapo and he keeps on keeps going with renewed renewed energy. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, and and he says, uh, and I think that you know he as we get closer, um, he he probably stops for a moment, um, and you can see where there is a. Um, because remember, they had cameras all kind of on the interior of here. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember that, but they were... they were Or not in the interior of here, I'm sorry. In the interior of the ruins, there was just that one drone camera. Um, but the one drone camera had to have, like, a cable link. Um, and so he probably bends down for a moment and he looks. And you can see, like, there's this black line mark on the ground... Where, the, where, like, a cable link... Uh, and, Boomer, you can identify what this damage is as well. It's clearly, like, electrical shock burn that's traced all the way up through the cable, but the cable is gone. It's not currently present. Um, which would be the most noted because when you guys first entered, you didn't see it either. Um, and so he probably, like, bends down and he probably like, looks at it and he probably, like, scrapes it with his hand. You can see that, like, it's it's fresh or fresh-ish. Um, and he kind of, like, rubs it together. He's like, uh, this not good. Uh, the people outside they cannot see us uh, 
they would uh, would they have known where we were headed or yeah I think he kind of like shrugs and he's like we only got the one mission here I suppose there's little that we can do to hope to contact them in any event our our objective is the same as it has been yeah it seems good and he he like he seemed like he kind of like um emboldens himself he like puts his compad away and you see him maybe like maybe he like checks seem like kind of he's trying to do it on the sly but he like kind of checks his his pistol and he pops open his magazine and he slides it back in and he puts it back away and he's like ah but what we've seen so far it stands to reason that the only other explanation is this artifact it's clearly part of this no i would think so um, and I think he turns towards Boomer and he says, uh, uh, I got to say, this doesn't feel like mm, normal. When you do stuff like this, it very rarely does. He kind of nods and he's like, he's like, yeah, but the Nanites that first encountered, we should not have, well, this is nothing on on you all understand but if this truly was as advanced technology as it I think it is then no way we stand against that but we came out relatively unscathed something is off here Remember, there are a lot of mitigating factors that apply to this place. It's not in great service. Sure, it's advanced technology, but if it has limited power to operate off of, it's still just technology. We're doing fine. I think one thing is sure. It's probably not AI. Well, let's keep pressing forward and see what we can find. He just kind of like nods and, and shrugs and, you know hikes up his pack and you guys continue moving on um so as promised after a few moments of traveling down corridors um you know searching for things um you notice that the the lights are getting brighter as you're traveling closer and closer to your destination in mind um it seems like this location is like pulling a lot more power um or is at least you know receiving a lot more power whichever one it is, and um, eventually you guys get to a point where there are these large metal sliding, or another another one, sorry, it's not sliding, it's another one of those like liquid doors, right, um, that, that you first entered through, uh, but this one is like much larger, it's, a, it's about the size of, um, eh, it's probably about twice the size of that, that previous one. Um, and you can see that along the floor, it actually goes from the metal floor um, into like a different, like kind of graded metal um, floor, just like just on the, just on the other side of the door. Like you can see just the just the edge of it. Um, and Boomer, you can see that there's a there's a console um, right over on the what, little orb that you can place your hand on. And I mean, I guess everybody sees that. I don't know why I said Boomer. Oscar technically has a key card now. Okay, uh, approaching with the uh, Dr. Archibald sure. palm yeah. key. Sure, so you place the Dr. Archibald key on it. Um, the little man appears and he says, Welcome, Dr. Archibald. How may I be of assistance? Uh, we're trying to progress forward. This is restricted, authorized personnel only. Unfortunately, Dr. Archibald, you are not permitted to enter. Well, my apologies then. Yeah, he just like he just gives a bow. 
uh, taking my hand off the orb and uh, going over and looking at uh, Oscar. It's like, mm, maybe yours will work? Yeah. Oscar just says, wasn't there a third key? There was, but I wanted to see if maybe yours opened this particular door first. Isn't the one I gave you more for door accesses? Certainly. And he goes over and Oscar yeah. tries the one that he... Yeah, so you put your hand on the door, and you've used this a couple times, like, throughout to get through a couple other doors that mm. you would have necessarily needed to, to get through. Um, you put it on there, and it says, uh, scanning Dr. Archibald credentials. Unauthorized access. Okay, now trying the third one. Yeah, so you put the third one down, and the little man appears, um, and he begins to flicker, um, and his hue changes from that like bluish to a slight like purplish color, um, and his form changes as well. Uh, and there is now a a woman um, that appears, um, and she talks with kind of like a like kind of a raspy. She goes, "Greetings." Oh boy! How may I be of assistance? This is how we die. <laughs> We're attempting to gain access to the restricted area. We're here for a mission. Scanning credentials. <laughs> access granted. She will see you now. And then uh, the, the figure winks out. And the first thing you notice as the doors slide, as the doors open, um, is a bright light set in the center of the room. Um, this room is far larger than any room you've been in. In fact, you think that that original VI that gave you your information did not include this in his uh, in his initial estimate of how large the facility is. Um, immediately, and, and Fortune, this is definitely you that notices it. Um, it's probably a good 50 meters to the other side of this, this room. All um, right. Yeah, so it's it's like it's a good way. It's just to the other side of this room, and you can see that there are multiple places where the um, the roof has collapsed in, uh, and in the center is this large white orb that's like on these big um, like metal pillars, um, and on the inside you can see like a bunch of wires and stuff running from it to the ground, and you can see that like, there's these large steel plates, um, and by large I mean massive steel plates that kind of cover the floor. Um, but it's also graded in some places, and you can see where there are, like, power lines kind of coming up and, and around them. Um, you can see where, like, the power lines go into the, or at least data lines or something go into the into the floor. And the orb, and it's that thing that you saw before. In fact, let me just show everyone, I guess. Uh, let me just get everyone right here. Yeah, mm -hmm, that all sounds good. Yep, yeah, mm -hmm, that sounds good. Uh, let me just make my way over here. Your roll twenty's not working yet, is it? Uh, it was before, and it seems to not be again. Oh, uh, damn. Murder map? No. All right, everybody but Devin, you can see what's going on, correct? I will reopen Twitch. <laughs> um. Uh, can I get my glow bug bubble? Uh, oh, yes, let me grab your glow bug. Um, which, by the way, how many glow bugs do you have? I have three, and they can be recharged with the A-type batteries that I also have with me. Okay. Um, you would have had to recharge one. Because they last about, like, eight hours of light or whatever? It's 24 hours. Uh, okay, never mind. Then you're fine. You can totally... Uh, this, this will be your, what, your last one, I think. Then, in that instance... Right, and I do have the power cells, and I'm cycling through powering mm -hmm. while we're walking. Paste. There's your glow bug, sir. Alright, everybody can see what's going on? Awesome. So, uh, around this thing, all of you can see now, <laughs> it appears that it was just Oscar's eyes that picked it up in the first place, but all of you can see around this thing, there is a faint shimmer that exists around this orb um, or this kind of odd structure. Um, 
And so, I assume all of you enter into the room? Because, like, right now, you can, we... you can totally be standing right outside of it. Because you can see, you're looking at it through the door. Are we allowed to move freely until you say otherwise? Uh, no, or I'm no. just asking if you're inside or outside. Yeah, I'm inside. Yeah, I'm inside. Okay. Inside. Yeah, so, so all of you go inside, and the door closes, but not roughly, and doesn't cause any cave-ins, as it did before. Um, and, uh, and yeah, now you are free to move about the cabin. Um, at a reasonable pace. There's no, there's no, like, things here, but, uh, reasonable pace being, like, move a little bit slower there, Oscar. (laughs) Um, so, as you guys begin to walk through, though, um, you guys, uh, you hear a voice, and it's not that raspy voice anymore. Um, but it seems to be coming from the, the structure in the middle. Um, and it's like, greetings. I am Kami. Hello, Kami. How are you? Uh, I'm good. How are you? What are you doing here? Uh, we're trying to leave. Why are you inside? I probably look over at Ayabu. You want to take over from here? Yeah, he kind of like looks, and he's like, he's like, brother, I don't know what to do here. This this sounds like job for Boomer. Hello, I, we're explorers, and we seem to have gotten trapped down here. We, we're actually just looking for a way out, and well, we're learning. I think that like you see the shimmer kind of like like shake again, um, and it says. You are intruders from er, er, earlier. I know of this. I don't think we're intruders. Again, we're just exploring. We're just a little lost. If if you, you are lost in facility, you... Are uh, are n- not us uh, s- 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 signed? But my name is Doctor Archibald. <laughs> Roll me a luck save. Oh no! <laughs> and there's that's a chance. How we all die. There's, there's a, a chance. I have all his credentials. Slim chance. Yeah, but maybe Dr. This. Archibald no was not a friend of this. <laughs> no. So, the thing goes, Dr. J. Archibald is not permitted access to this place. You are in true... Uh. And with that sound, you see the power, the power cables that are lying along the ground... They begin to sparkle and activate, um, and and everybody needs to roll me initiative. I did tell you right off the bat that Doctor Archibald was not granted access in here. Just FYI. Yeah, yeah, you did. <laughs> His card. Oh, uh, we did that like four minutes ago. <laughs> he wasn't allowed in. <laughs> I'm just saying. I gotta play the game, guys. I can't select my token, I, so you can have to Oh, I'm going to have to roll for you. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Boomer, <laughs> please. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. All right. All right. It's weird that you can't select your token, but you can still roll things. I'm so confused, roll 20. I, I can't, like, I can pull up my character sheet, but I can't select my I, character. I rolled you a three. I hope that's okay. That's better than what I rolled, so. Okay. Or no, it's not. I rolled a four, but yeah, sure. Uh. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. You guys will be. You guys will be perfectly fine. No problem, right? Uh, Hiapo is gonna roll initiative. What a boss. 
Um, I need uh, go to this layer. Uh, go to this layer. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, what you gonna roll? Okay, that's good for you guys. Uh, what you gonna roll? Okay. Um, cool. And I also need to go to token layer and. Uh, I have a character sheet for this guy because everybody's got a character sheet and yeah cool so sort descending Oscar this thing appears to be activating and going to attack you in some way uh, in your current position what do you do sir cables okay Oscar just starts madly hacking at the cables that okay. seem to be. Are you gonna move? Are you gonna move to one of them or throw your your saber? Moving takes too much time. <laughs> okay, so which 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 are you throwing your your sword at? Uh, the one immediately to his right. Okay, so this one right over here. All right, yep. uh, I do need an attack roll. Uh, it is an inanimate object, um, but it is like small and like. Kind of underneath the floor at points, so it's going to be AC nine. Should be should be no problem for you, Oscar. No problem. Um, cool. So you hit this part of the cable. <laughs> Lightning just arcs out. <laughs> um, and you see the feedback kind of runs back to Kami, um, and kind of like sparks, and you see like the the arcing a little bit, um, and you see the cloud that's kind of the the shimmer. Um, detaches uh, a little bit and begins to like float about the room when that happens. Uh, what else are you gonna do, Oscar? You gonna move? I, I, I don't know. Is like a general, um, like descending of one's soul considered movement, <laughs> or like one one spirit just becoming? <laughs> One um, well, a uh, character in my other game um, likes to feel regret. Like that's a free action? Yeah, yeah, he likes to feel regret as a free action uh, for the choices that him and his party have made. Oh, no, he, sta he stands by his decision. <laughs> he just knows that this is probably it. Uh, this, um, is, this is not he's, a good position. He is going to stay right where he's at, Cool. actually. Yeah. Cool. Go, go. Since you win the tie versus this thingy, what are you gonna do? It appears angry, Gogo. -Go. Clearly, um, I think that Margot would say something on the lines of "God damn it, Boomer!" and then <laughs> monoblade the one cable that is literally right next to her feet. Cool. <sighs> um, roll. Uh, yeah, it's a uh, AC nine. Hey, Jordan. Yeah. Check those uh, those two pictures I just sent you. Uh, okay. You miss. How? So how I is mean, that even possible? So <laughs> you hit it, but like you're just unable to hack through it, right? Like it's a thick cable. Maybe you hit some of the grating. Um, <laughs> it, it evades your mono blade. <laughs> Google's weak as shit is basically what it is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's it's a measure. It's a measure of its armor and it's probably just a thick cable right yeah i know i'm like, just, I'm just yeah. kidding you gotta um, whack at it well there there's your answer i i i guess i guess but mark? There, i click on the help things and it doesn't say anything about turning that on or activating it so and i know I've... i know on chrome you have to like click the thing at the top left or whatever to get the voice thing to activate for like the view site information or whatever or like the tools or whatever try playing around with that stuff click on the what i'm sorry um, so like, remember to remember when we used the voice in Roll Twenty, we had to like activate it or whatever via the thing. Um, it's probably just a setting in in Chrome that's disabled, like it says. So you yeah, can, that's... So you can find that. Yeah. Uh, is that it for GoGo? -Go? 
Yeah, her next turn is just going to be All trying right. to... <laughs> so, you see this thing, it pulses with energy, and it arcs lightning, and I'm going to roll some dice. I'm first going to roll this. Uh, Oscar, I don't know how you do it, man. What's that? I don't know how you do it. So, you see lightning arcs uh, from from both this pole right here, this this line, and this line. When it gets to here, it spits out a bunch of electricity sparks and just psh, electrifies like part of the floor. But luckily, Oscar, you got a range. Uh, but it sparks over here, and all of you can see that there is some rustling. <laughs> and out from this this thing pops a creature you know well. Uh, Perhaps there is still room for negotiation. <laughs> um, yeah, so Oscar, you, you, I think, are the only one that can really see this thing. Um, you see the, the light burst uh, from the glowing eyes and electrified jaw. Um, mm. And it is going to... Uh, it spots you. You are the obvious target in this scenario. Mm. Um, but it's not its turn yet. And so, somehow you managed to damage the cable that it was going to choose. Lucky you. <laughs> uh Heapo. Um Jesus. I, uh, so Heapo probably looks at Fortune and probably says uh the cable seems good but we must try not to damage the core. This is valuable piece of machinery and who knows what it would do if it were to be damaged vitally. Explosion, perhaps, would be bad. You understand? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. <clears throat> uh, so then Hiapo is going to move um, 10 meters just to, like, take cover back here. Um, and he is going to ready a shot. Can he actually see this? Let me see. If he can That's actually... a long shot. Uh, he can actually see it. And it is just out of minimum range, but Hiapo is like <laughs> Hiapo is like scared, man. He he's just gonna shoot at it with a minus two, um, because he's afraid of kitty cats apparently. Uh, semi-auto pistol, AC seven, other modifier minus two. Uh, damn it, game. One more time. One more again. Uh, AC 7, minus 2, misses. So he just, just takes a shot and it just ricochets off of something. Um, Fortune, it's your turn. Uh, can you see anything yet? Uh, yeah, on Twitch. Well, not on that. Um, okay. All right, cool. <clears throat> kind of on Twitch. I'm still down by the door, right? That's where you had You me. indeed are. Uh, and what... I know people are trying to cut these wires. Yeah, so are. Oscar cut one of the wires. You see Gogo trying to cut a wire. Um, you see, you saw Hiapo fire at something. You can't actually see this guy that I'm, my mouse is over. You'll, you're like five seconds behind. Um, but there's like these scrap piles that you could like get up on if you wanted to or whatever. But yeah, that's that's kind of what's going on there. Okay, so this thing off to the right I can't see, but that's Correct. what I yeah. fired at. Yeah, because you are behind this barrier. All right. Then, since I know something is there, I would like to try to climb the rock pile thing to the right. Okay, yeah. So you have um, 10 meters of movement, so you can get to it, and then begin okay. to climb it, like, next turn. Yeah. Or you can use your dash to, like, be climbing it now, I guess, technically. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, cool. Um, awesome. So you get up on it, and uh, I know you, you, you... Well, actually, it's an advantage for you because you can't see anything. Um, so everybody else just has to promise not to metagame, which I know you guys are good players, so you're not going to. Uh, but I'm going to move this um, to the map layer so that everybody can... So fortunately, you can kind of see, um, and we'll use that as that's like the, the dynamic lighting line. So if, you're, if your little straight arrow misses or hits that, you can't see through it. Um, that's how we'll play it. Forge now. Uh, but... Fortune, you now have perspective on the battlefield. 
Yeah. This might, this might be a time you actually might get to use your sniper rifle. You see that? That's that's something I was hoping on. Yeah. <laughs> Doing at some point. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Boomer, it's your turn. All right. Uh, Boomer with his combat shotgun is going to run in this direction. Okay. To here. Yep. But while he was here, he's gonna combat shotgun the wire. Okay. All right. Go ahead and roll me an attack. It's uh, AC nine. Are you burst firing? Jesus, yeah. Yes. <laughs> so you burst fire. It explodes. Lightning arcs out. Um, roll me an evasion save. Okay. Um, you're going to take some damage, just like some numbness to the legs. But since you were moving, I'm going to give you uh, one dice less than it would be. Two damage. So, like, you feel a sharp pain in your calf as the lightning kind of just strikes you as you're running away, um, but you're able to get out of the way before the, mo the majority of it, uh, you know, bursts out of the uh, the conduit. There you go. I got you, buddy. See that? There you go. Perfect. Um, awesome. Oh, no, he dropped this glow bug. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it goes. Okay, cool. So, now it's time for these guys who rolled a 1. So, they're not very good. But, they also have far more movement than you guys do. But not quite enough to get to you, Oscar. Yeah, got lucky. But it is going to come as far as it can. Uh, and then probably going to, like... Um, yeah, I guess it will take the dash action. And it's going to get right up in your grill, ready to attack you. But it can't do anything this round, because it already attacked you. Or it already, it dashed. Sound good? So oh, you, super, super good. It's yeah. you facing off against this thing now. Uh, and it is your turn. Uh, yeah, Oscar is going to take a take a swipe at it. Sure. So importantly, he's not going to use his, his, uh, his power. He's just going to... Yeah, just cut at it. I believe. Seven? Uh, yes, AC seven. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, so you just... You slice the thing, and it just dies. No problem. So, like, two halves of it continue skidding past him. Yeah, exactly. Just, just like Stanley's mate. That one time. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> but he doesn't know that. <laughs> I love I love Megan's reaction to that. It's actually fantastic. Meanwhile, we can hear Meg getting up from her desk and walking away. <laughs> nope, I'm done. Done. I'm Fuck out. This it's game. over. Fuck <laughs> this game so much. Incoming spiders and I'm out. So, okay, bye. Yeah, he... Oscar is going to um, move... Oof. I think he's going to use his movement to. What on earth is he going to do? I love it when my players say that. <laughs> let's let's see. I can move twenty or uh, ten. No, you can move ten. Ten meters. They got twenty meters of movement because they're <clears throat> cats and they're designed <clears throat> to be fast like that. All right. Well, he is gonna. Screw it. He's gonna stay, stay put. Okay. This play, this location was relatively safe before. Okay. Cool. Go go. It's your turn. So go goes like, fuck this knife. Puts the knife back in her pocket. She's sure. gonna take out her shotgun. <laughs> sure. <laughs> like, Screw this. Yeah. You're just gonna blast you, the conduit. You. So go. Yeah, but I'm gonna move to. I'm gonna move to here. <laughs> yeah. She. She hears Oscar yell. Step no, back. I was. <laughs> Yeah, no, I also heard... Well, Boomer scream no, with pain. Yeah, Boomer scream with pain. That was what was my reaction. That's fine. Like, yeah. It might be the only time you've ever heard Oscar yell. <laughs> but, yeah. yeah. Oscar's, in a, Oscar's in a fight, man. 
Okay, cool. I'm trying okay. to figure out. I think that's as far. Maybe. Uh, you were right about here. You've got like five more meters of five movement. Five more meters. Mm -hmm. Or four. And then, but my shotgun climb is up on 10, the thing. Right? Yeah. So the max effective range. To this. Yeah, the max effective range is ten meters. If you so go from any like further here, than that. yeah, I mean, like you could shoot a closer piece Perfect. of the conduit. Okay, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, cool. Okay, I'm just gonna be here. Okay, and I'm gonna shoot it with burst fire. All right. <laughs> so I really want to bring yeah, it. All that ammunition. <laughs> mm, gimme, gimme. Uh, AC nine, uh, as usual, as usual. It's okay. Fortune can box, and I have a sword and rock. <laughs> Gogo still has rockets. Oh my god, Gogo still has rockets. Wait. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, oh, I still rocket. rockets, man. So still again, so you just and just you walk you walk the damage right up and it just <laughs> explodes the conduit, uh, breaking it. Lightning flares out. In fact, I should just I should just find uh Where are all your little special effects? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Lightning uh, effects, I don't have lightning. Why doesn't it have yeah. lightning? There was a like, white, like, uh, light one, though, that you had. Yeah, it was, like, holy let's... fire or something, but it yeah, looked yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, here. Yeah. There. Happy. Going the extra mile. Yeah, I know. <laughs> a plus. <laughs> Thanks. Appreciate it. All right, cool. Um, that means it's this thing's turn. So we're going to make a saving throw first. We're gonna make a saving throw. We're gonna make a saving throw. Nope, we fail. Uh, and then we're gonna roll some dice. Uh, okay, well, we know seven's a bad plan. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, you see lightning travel down this lane. Of course it does. <laughs> And then we see something <laughs> activate from it. Uh, go, go. I hate to say it, but you literally walked right into where yeah, I Yeah, clearly. I'm going to burst clearly. it out. Motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you see this thing pop out. Uh, and that is its turn. Uh, so here's the great part. Now this thing gets to go. Uh, and it bursts out, and it sees you, Go-Go. And it just brings up its arm, and its little hand, like, molds into this little scrap launcher, and it just... And fires a scrap so, at you. I may or may not have found something, and I'm going to see if it works, but I have to restart. That's fine. Uh, what's your AC, Gogo? -Go? Five. Do you have dex bonus? Ooh, wow. Ow! Such a dodge. Such a dodge. <laughs> such a dodge. Wow, Whoa. I'm surprised. Because yeah. that was, like, point blank. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It, like, popped out. It surprised you. Like, maybe you put your hands up and, like, it just went through, like, a piece of your 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 vest or whatever. Like, it was just so close. Just whoosh, slices right by your... Maybe it cuts a little bit of your hair off is what happens. No, not the hair. <laughs> um, so, then we move on to Hyapo. I'd like to imagine that she actually does yell that. Um, <laughs> yes, that was in character. Hello. Okay. Um, <laughs> So, Hiapo, can he see this guy? Because he, Hiapo is, does not want to move. Oh, he can. Barely, but he can. Uh, it's got cover from him, but he's going to attempt to take a shot at this guy. Oh, it is just within range. Look at that. Perfect. So, it is a at a only a minus two, not a minus four. That's awesome. Semi auto pistol. AC seven, minus two. Nope, misses. Whoosh. <laughs> All right, Fortune. Gogo's other ponytail goes there. off. So, are you are you Stop here, um, Fortune? Are you, can um, you see things? I'm. I can see things on Twitch. Okay, well, that guy's actually out of vision from you, unfortunately. Um, you you technically do not have a target currently, unless you want to try and sniper one of the conduits. You can totally. I think do that'd that. be. A, I think that'd be a waste of ammunition. Right, because you. How many shots is the sniper rifle? It's uh, like two, right? I don't even think it's that. Is it one, and then you have to reload? I, Single shot. I think so. Yeah. It's it's like a BMG. They they weigh like. <laughs> it's true. Each, yeah, it's basically a fifty shot. cal sniper, right? It's yeah, like, it's not, sniper rifle. It's one. You just uh, load load banana size cartridges in there. And... Yep, that's basically <laughs> how it works. So, uh, 
I guess the next target to present itself. See, here's that thing. Is if something shows up and I aim at it for a turn, if I hit, then it yeah. dies. Mm -hmm. Can could but he say I, that like he's waiting for any part of well, that? To, so like, an action you can take, or... an action you can take. Um, it won't allow you to shoot, but you could like entrench yourself and like get stabilized and get a bonus to your shots from up there. Yes, that you is know, what I would like. like I'll give you like a not a permanent aim bonus, but like a you know I'll give you like a plus two or whatever if you like. You'll have to go prone, and you'll have to set up your bipod, and it'll take you like an action to undo it, right? It's like yeah. a, you know, it's like a, okay. it's like a siege tank in um in Starcraft, right? If yeah. You if you take a turn to set up, you can get a, a bonus on your on your um shots. Got it. And that is what I am doing. Okay. So yeah, you're like, so finally, Fortune. What does it look like when finally you're able to be effective with like a fucking uh, sniper rifle now? Well. You see Fortune up there, and then somehow he lays down, goes prone, and then he disappears. Yeah, you just like, don't you see him. You can't really see him up there anymore. It's like, what what happened to Fortune? Yeah. And then you see a rock moving on the top of the pile. It's like, oh, well, he blends in pretty I, well. I can smell him, but I can't see him. <laughs> yep, absolutely. Uh, yeah, and I'm, I'm ready to, to yeah. do things that I'm meant to do for reals now. Absolutely. Cool. Uh, Boomer, it's your turn. <laughs> Bastion. Except I... not quite as fast firing. <laughs> not quite as machine gunny, but it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Boomer. Boomer. All right, how... Sorry. Let me, was... let me instruct you on how circles work. If you move the same distance, it's going to remain the same. No, I know. It's. I was <laughs> trying to get to a specific spot at that distance. Here, maybe, perhaps? There you go. Sure. Close. And then I'm going to shotgun blast here. Okay. Cool. Yep. No problem. Burst firing? This time, no. <laughs> yeah, cool. Do it. I'm ready. Ooh. <laughs> you hit it. And it is damaged, but it is not destroyed. How did you even roll that low? Oh, God, that is no. a that is a tough cable. Yeah, so you've damaged it, which means it may be less effective and may be prone to exploding by itself. But you did not completely destroy it. Uh, so I will put a uh, there. Put that on it. That's the portion of cable you've hit. Anything else from Boomer? Nope. All right. Oscar, it's your turn. Uh, I do actually have line of sight to that guy. Uh, indeed, yes. So the, the, yes. it's kind of low. Yeah. Like he's in cover, but I, does that matter for you? I'm not. I'm not actually 100 percent sure. Um, I think it does with what you have currently, right? So cover only gets neglected by telekinetic slings. So right, technically, yeah. this would still be a ranged attack. Okay, yeah. So it does get cover because he is behind rubble. He's just not out of line of sight of you. All right. Well, I haven't used my movement yet, so correct. You could totally move and try and uh, avoid that option. Here, would you like me to measure for you, sir? Oh my god, I'm getting so deep into Chrome now. I don't even know why I'm doing this. And I still haven't fixed the problem, and now I'm looking into like crazy ass settings that okay. developers don't yep. even use. You can you can avoid uh, the cover from this angle. Sure. So he's gonna run over there and then attack him. Leaping over power cables like a bouse. Nice. Yeah. Yep. So he absolutely. just whips his sword over. He just poosh, crushes him. He just dies. This poor little bot. Anything else for Oscar? He nah. I use use my movement and my action. All right, go go. Sigh of relief. 
at least <laughs> temporarily. Maybe maybe he <laughs> yells maybe he yells something about not shooting that cable while he's standing on it. <laughs> Notice how yeah. Boomer did not try and shoot at the creature. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Um I think You had it. I don't know what I was supposed <laughs> to help with. Did I look like I had it? I don't think I did. I'm pretty sure Your I Your name not. is Margot Go Go Valentine. Sure. You had that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> anyway. Um, I think I'm gonna That move may even you. be a fight they're having during this fight. Yeah, I'm like yelling to you like, why didn't you help me? You're such a jerk. <laughs> Alright, anyway. I'm gonna move out of because I don't think I can actually oh. well, Hold on. Yeah, I can hit it from where I'm standing, so I don't have mm -hmm. to move. Correct. All right. fire. Um, hold on. Let me check. <laughs> yeah, I can do one more with what I have readied. So sure. All right. I await your burst fire. AC nine. It's because I have a mag. Nice. There we go. It explodes, arc lightning spikes out from it. All right. Are you going to move, Gogo? Uh, no, I think I'm staying put. <laughs> All right. Temporarily. Uh, this thing gets to go. We're going to roll a save first. I believe. Damn. I don't believe. This is not good. This thing is not happy. 14 is a really difficult tech save. It is, but the thing with NPCs in, in or NB, I say NPCs, but like things, is they all have like a base save where they all get it. Only PC classes have variant saves. Yeah. Uh, two and an eight. Nope. Nope. Nothing is summoned. Hooray! <laughs> uh, Heapo gets to go. Um, so seeing what you guys are doing, he's going to attempt to do the same. So he is going to... Yeah, he can totally make it over there. So he's going to run over here. He's going to pull out a knife. He's going to try and cut the power cable. Uh, Good money, big money. Character sheet. There it is. I don't know why that says fist. It should say knife. He has a knife. <laughs> Y'all are brave just it. manually <laughs> cutting these things. Uh, Hiapo is not good in combat. <laughs> Give him an intellectual uh, design. He's under pressure right now. He doesn't have time to think. Uh, AC nine. I mean, he missed. So he's like, he's like trying to like saw through it. And it's just not going through. I mean, yeah. this is probably for the best. This is TL I mean, five like cabling, right? <laughs> Margot tried to cut through one with her bare hands too. Like the Again, electric probably cable. Probably for the best. <laughs> True. All right, Fortune, you are set up. You have no targets. Is there anything though. to shoot? There is not currently. Uh, I. I will shoot the next thing that moves. It's not a party member. Okay, excellent. <laughs> Boomer. Push to talk. There appears to be four cables that need cutting. Boomer's going to move to do here. Do they need cutting? And or then are you shoot just... at this cable. I mean, you guys are... You got, I, I assumed you were going with the same plan here. Yep. Burst fire? No. All right. I wait. I wait the shooting. There it is. All right. No problem. And lightning. As and if I space it out right, there's enough room from back to here. Sure. Sounds good. Oscar? You see, this this coupling right here is like, hold on, wait, I can actually do this. Uh, it's prime prime for the cutting. Yeah, it's just it's. <laughs> yeah. Oh my Marking. god, <laughs> it's just somebody's peeing over there. But... Yeah. 
Um, so at some point in all of this chaos, he is yelling kind of to everybody like, <laughs> uh, is it? <laughs> so he, he yells like, is it wise to completely cut it off? Perhaps it will erase. Um, like, does anybody I'd shout like, back anything? Uh, I'd or? be like, erase what? We were just told to get it out of here. It does. I guess it doesn't matter if it's working or not when we bring it back. Does that's better? So, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, sweet. <laughs> Um, okay, because he's going to keep hacking at these things unless somebody well, maybe voices a concern otherwise. Would know. <laughs> or like Hiapo, who was... <laughs> You'd have to like run up and grab Hiapo to get his attention currently, probably. Well, I just saw him also start cutting it, so I'm going to assume we get yeah. paid regardless of whether or not this thing had a chance to like back itself up. Yeah, your goal was to get this object out of here. All right, yeah, he's gonna. Oscar is going to move uh, back a scotch. It's probably like five meters, and he's gonna take a swing at that right. cable. AC nine. Nailed it. No problem. <laughs> uh, let me hold on. I have. It'd be so much cooler to see this in real time than like three seconds after. <laughs> it explodes. All right. Anything else from Oscar? No. I mean, he already he he voiced his concern. He moved. He go go the cable. Okay. Um, seeing that all of the cables like immediately around her are pretty much cut, and it seems like there's only two still attached. I think that Margo wants to take a second and assess the state of the cre of the whatever in the middle. Sure. What does it look like currently? Yeah, so all of you have been unfocused on it. It was good that GoGo -Go mentions this. Um, so the thing is like pulsing rapidly. You can see the shimmer around it is like swirling, almost as if there's like a sheen of like water around it. Um, and you can see that it's the it's like the way it's moving. It kind of creates that shimmer rainbowish tint um and but it's much thinner than it was in the beginning it appears that whatever the sheen is and you can probably determine that it's nanites at this point because you guys have been talking about it for days um it appears that if you really do a look around you can see that it's dispersed a lot of them um for what reason though who knows but what it has done is it has kind of exposed the like, the core of this thing itself. Um, Which looks like what? It looks, it looks kind of, it looks kind of like this, right? Like, it looks, this is kind of what it looks like. The sheen around it is somewhat invisible. Um, somewhat translucent, I should say. Um, but, uh, yeah, go for it, Boomer. Um, but, uh, but, yeah, so, I mean, it looks like a computer core of some sort, or some type of advanced system um can we engage with it again or is that totally you could probably call to it it may it may respond to you but there is has been a lot of damage done to its systems currently because every time you guys cut a cable it is it is providing like a small feedback into the into the device right okay um i think margo seeing that is going to move forward towards it, at least into shouting range of it a little mm -hmm. bit closer. Sure. Uh, and call it's Kami, right? That's its name. That's what it has designated. Or what it as. said. Yep. Um, I would call to it. I would say, Kami, we we really don't want to destroy you. We we just want to talk. Can we stop this now, please? I have been tasks with defending this, this place from intruders 
we're not intruders. You started to attack us, but we'll stop attacking. We promise. If you just talk to us, can you tell us anything? Um, man, roll me a persuasion check with uh, intelligence. You're not gonna be able to charm this thing, but if you could, if you could use intelligence to somehow persuade it. Okay, I have one unspent skill point. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to use it to make my persuade a zero. Nice. Cool. And then do that. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Big money, big money. And just, you said in Difficulty is going to be like a 10, by the way. Just, just so we're all clear. <laughs> you said it was intelligence? Yes, intelligence. Okay, here we go. Oh my god, so close. Um, you could reroll. I'm going to reroll. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Yep. <laughs> yeah! Nice. So, yeah! So again, it, it like... Um, the lightning that's like feeding out of the cables kind of dies down a little bit. Um... Uh, and it's it it says, I have no protocol for this. Who are you? I think Margot would just say. We're friends. We're not enemies. We just want to go home. That's all. Yeah, I think you see like a like a processing um, thing, and uh, yeah, and I think that uh, you see the power systems begin to like shut down, um, and the lights are like flickering and getting dimmer, uh, and and the Kami probably says, "You you are." F free to leave th this place s s s how <laughs> uh, i do n not un understand the query the exit where is the exit of this whole place? Yeah, so I think that you get a hollow image, and it's a, it's a map of the of the, you know, um, sh the structure, and it shows you the door that you came in. We tried that; it took us nowhere. Did, can you fix it so that we can go back where we came from? I think, I think Kami like the map vanishes and says I am tasked with defending this place do you know where we could find what is tasked with keeping things in and out not defense Bit, bit tour. Arbiter, what? Who? So you Where? say you say arbiter, <laughs> you say arbiter, and then from one of the globes on the outside of the room, you see a little blue man pop up. Welcome. How may I assist you? And cut fade to to black. Uh. <laughs> Congratulations, you uh, didn't die yet. Oh, there's plenty of time for that. <laughs> I was gonna say. Uh. uh, so everybody gets 350 experience. Congratulations. Survived a couple more days in the underground. You met Kami. 
who for all Weird. intents and purposes is clearly not an AI system. Oh, uh, okay. And, yeah, uh, and yeah, that's it. We can yeah. unplug and, 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 Kami at any point now that we have pruned. <laughs> yeah, you could certainly try. I definitely, uh, it's definitely my computer that's not allowing this to work. Really? By the way, I'm curious yeah. as to why it's like this time. Like there was a lot of, like we played games uh, before. Uh, uh, because I guess you've never used, well, you've used dynamic lighting before. Oh. Oh uh, no, I haven't though. We have the very first mission. Oh yeah, you know, you're right. I did use. Yeah, in the lighting. cave one. Yeah. yeah. But I think at that point my computer was still working. I'm not using my laptop. This is Emmy's uh, laptop now, and hers is like a hers is a slightly downgraded version of mine. Mine was like had all the bells and whistles, but it's because it's a Mac. Emmy ruins. That's everything. the real reason. Emmy ruins everything. It's, <laughs> so, it's because it's a Mac. Mm -hmm. That's the real reason why. Cool, awesome, great yeah. job, guys. Hope you all had fun. Yeah. Didn't even totally. get to, you didn't even get to see the end game, but it's okay. There's still time for that. Time for us to die, basically. No, oh, I'm I'm still concerned about getting this thing, uh, as intact as possible. Out. But yeah. Hey, at least it's not attacking us at the moment. Yeah, it's good. Mm. <laughs> sort of. Not attacking us. Remove it. Not attacking us. ATM. At the moment. I don't know how long that's gonna last, but yeah. Right, like it has a task. And should you interfere with that task, you will then be on the bad side of it again, right? That's kind of the impression yep. I was attempting to give here. It has a purpose, yep. and should you attempt to interfere with that purpose, then it will probably not, not appreciate that a lot at all. Well, leaving is an option. Mm -hmm. You can just try and but wait out the food that stores. That was Coco's job. Uh, yeah. I'll catch you later. Yep, absolutely. See so yeah, Bye. I'm gonna do outro. Bye. Bye. Hello everyone on Twitch. Hope you had a ton of fun. I had a ton of fun. Um, little, I'm, I'm only I'm only minorly disappointed that they didn't get to see the end game. I had some really cool stuff planned, but uh, they could totally piss Kami off again, and we could um, just continue where we left off. You know. Um, really cool fight. I have a lot more planned for it. Um, and, uh, and we'll see. So, uh, that's it. See y'all later. Have a great night. Or morning, or afternoon, wherever you are. From all of us to you, enjoy. Roll your dice well. Try not to die.